Hey guys, I'm Kat and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite ghost stories. I know I made a video about this ghost story um, a long time ago on my channel and I will post the original video down below because it's this story plus a couple others. But this is definitely one of my favorite ghost stories that people, like I like to tell people when they ask me if I've had any experiences um, with the paranormal. Um, and it's definitely one of my favorite ones to tell because it's probably one of the most prominent stories that I have and probably one of the reasons why I do believe in the paranormal. So, yeah. And it goes with the spooky season. I mean, who doesn't like hearing ghost stories around the spooky season? So I can't really remember the age that I was when this happened. I'll have to ask my sister because she's four years older than me and she was there for this experience too. We had the same experience together. Um, but we lived in a house with my aunt, my uncle, and my two cousins and my mom and dad. And it was, it was a big house, but it wasn't big enough for everybody to have a room. So my sister and I, our room was in the attic. They converted the attic into a bedroom and it was actually probably the coolest room that I've ever had. Um, and we both really loved it and then it had a cute little window so you can see outside but also climb onto the roof and it was really cool but there was one part of it that was really odd so we had our little closet area for our clothes and on the wall in the closet area was a piece of plywood drilled into the wall and it was covering a hole so it was really odd because it was like just just randomly there for and nobody knew why so one night my sister and I are asleep my bed is closest to the closet my sister's bed is closest to the window we're both asleep and this was back when I could sleep in the dark <laughs> but we're both asleep and I get woken up by hearing this loud banging knocking noise and so it's just like just a loud bang bang knocking sound and I get woken up by it, and for a minute I think, oh, it's my cousins, they're trying to scare me, or they're downstairs, but it keeps persisting, so I wake up my sister because I'm getting really freaked out, and we both keep hearing this knocking, and so she gets up, she turns on the light, we look in the closet area, and on the area that has that piece of wood drilled into the wall, covering a hole, it looked like someone was banging on it and knocking on it, but not from the outside. It sounded like it was coming from the inside of the hole. So I remember me and her, we freak out, we go downstairs, we get our cousins. It was just a, a strange experience. Then the next day, sorry, my cat knocked down the camera in a really opportune moment. But the next day, we go back up in the attic with my cousins and we decide to unscrew that piece of wood from the wall and see what was behind it there in the hole. So in the hole is your typical, you know, it's really dusty, really disgusting and gross. But on the inside, we found vintage old children's toys that had to be from the 60s or 50s. Just in there, just in the hole, just chilling, you know, and it was one of those moments where it's like, okay, so what does this mean? Does this mean that, like, and also, like, it's so, like, mm, it's, whenever I think about it, I try to figure out why it's, why were there children's toys in the wall, basically? Why were they in a wall that was boarded up? unless nobody knew that they were in there and they just boarded it up because there was a hole in there or someone potentially put those toys in there as a joke and it was just a practical joke. But I remember just the energy in the room when this happened, when that banging was happening was so terrifying and was so thick and so odd that it was scary. It was like that kind of fear where you fear for your life because, I don't know, it's so hard to explain. There's only been a couple of experiences in my life where it felt like I need to get out of here. I need to get out of this situation. I cannot be in here. It's not safe for us to be in here. Um, and that was one of those experiences where it felt like 
we had to get out of that room right then and there because if we didn't, something would happen. And after that, a lot of stuff started to occur. You would hear glass breaking in the kitchen and run in and there'd be nothing. Um, cereal boxes would fall off the counter and just land in the middle of the floor. You would hear children outside running on the gravel rocks, but there was nobody out there. Um, there was one time where my uncle, at the time, took a picture of our German Shepherd, and the German Shepherd was standing next to a sliding glass door. And when you looked at the, it was a Polaroid picture, when you looked at it, it looked like a silhouette of a person standing half in the house and half out the house, but the sliding glass door was closed. So it was like, it was halfway in and out, but like in the sliding glass door, almost like someone standing outside trying to talk to someone. And so there was, there was a lot of experiences there. And I know my cousins and my sisters had more experiences than I did. Um, but there were some times where it was really just like, I wouldn't want to go down in the basement, not just because I didn't like basements and not just because I'd always find snakes down there, but because there was something about the basement that was really uncomfortable and I just didn't want to go down there. My sister and I did stay in that room for a couple more months and she took one for the team and started to sleep in the bed by the closet because I didn't want to. Um, but then we ended up moving out and living in a different house. So I didn't have to deal with that. But I did have, I've had several experiences after that and I think this, like what happened to me in that experience made me afraid of the dark and made me afraid of closets because I wasn't afraid of the dark in closets before that. And now like I have to sleep with a light on or like the TV on or something or, and um, I just don't like closets. I don't like them. They make me nervous and uncomfortable because it always feels like something's hiding in them. So yeah. But, yeah, it's one of my favorite ghost stories. And it's like, whenever I tell it, people don't believe me because it does sound so crazy. And my logical side hears that it sounds crazy. It really does. Like, I can hear why it sounds crazy, but I was there and I experienced it. And you could, if I ever do a video with my sister, um, she could also tell the story because she was there. I feel like if it wasn't the both of us, and it just happened to me, part of me would think that it was just my imagination. But since she was there and she also heard the banging and sawing that piece of wood moving as if someone was knocking from the inside of the wall, like that's what confirms to me that it was real and that it actually happened. And that's what freaks me out. But it's definitely one of my favorite stories to tell because it's probably one of the biggest ghost experiences that I've ever really had. So yeah, that's one of my probably spookiest ghost stories that I have. I have a few that really stick out to me, that really freak me out. Um, I've had experiences where like, they're just kind of minimal experiences where it's just like, you know, I'm very aware that, you know, I'm very aware of the paranormal and you know, things happen. But there are some experiences that I have where it's, it's made me react in a way of fear or having to get out of a situation because of something telling you that, okay, you need to go. I mean, it could also be the fact that this is something otherworldly and your body and energy can sense it and it makes you feel like you have to get out because it's abnormal and it's strange and it's different and it feels weird. So I know that could also be it, but there have been times where it's like, no, I need to leave. Like I'm, I'm afraid, like I need to go. <laughs> My cats keep, they're hissing at each other. That's good, if that's what you're hearing. But yeah, so that's one of my favorite ghost stories. Um, I do have other videos about ghost stories, but I could share them anyway for the spooky season um, because they're really interesting. And I've thought about asking my sister to do a video with me about ghost experiences because I know she's had her fair share of them. So I know, I haven't decided. But I would love to hear everybody else's spooky experiences and ghost stories. I love ghost stories because it's just fun to hear what other people have experienced. Okay, I'm gonna go and try to tame the little beasts. So yeah, thank you for joining me in this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. 
please share your ghost stories with me. I would really love to hear them. Um, as I said, I love to hear and read about ghost stories and hearing other people's experiences. And if you'd like me to retell some of my ghost stories, I would absolutely love to do that because um, I'm weird and spooky and love to talk about them. <laughs> and I hope that you have a wonderful day, a beautiful night, stay spooky, and this is Kat signing out. Bye.